Hello, welcome back to the Freak Show, Bumpy McSquigum Zero. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Might Magic Hero 7. This is episode 9, and we have completed our task that was set before us. We are going to gather up some more troops, I dare say, and then we're going to install... Emeril is the governor of uh, Brightsgate. So those are the plans, the plays, the goals, the hopes, the dreams. Let's see if we can actually do all or any of that. And we'll see. We'll see in just a minute here. I want to see what kind of skills she has. Does he, she even have anything for a governor? Uh, let's see. She's got resolution. And she's got... Oh, town protector. The local guard's core creature capacities in this town are increased by 60. For elite creatures, by 20. That seems pretty legit. Alright, so we're going to toss her into town, but first I think I'm going to stock up on troops for him. I wanted to build the capital, but I think we need 10 wood, and we have no way of getting wood really, really rapidly. So, what I think I'm going to do, and I thought about this between episodes, guys. Since I can't afford that, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade the garrison. It's going to cost us 5 stone, which in theory we'll get back by the right time. So we're going to do that. We're going to upgrade our sentinels here. Move them in as legionnaires, and we're going to be pretty happy with that. Additionally, we are going to move you... We're actually going to swap roles. We're going to put you over here. I'm going to try to get used to doing this, guys. So bear in mind that it's going to be a terrible, horrible, awful journey for me to figure this out or to do, but... It is simply what it is. Alright, we're going to go over here. We're going to grab up a bunch of these guys. Recruit them. We're going to try to get to rough, oops, roughly 200. There it is. 200 guys. Um, that's weird. Since they get upgraded differently. Eh, it's fine. Alright, we're going to try to get to roughly 200, or exactly 200 archers. I'm going to go with about 15 wolves, I think. Because we don't have any wolves right now. It would be good to have an extra core creature there. If for nothing but blocking purposes, we're going to recruit all of the chaplains because, well, why not? Ranged units, they seem to do pretty good. And I want to have a total of 15 of these, so I'm going to grab three more. We're going to be pretty brokish, but I think it'll work out in the end, maybe. Alright, that's the force we're going to roll with. You know what? For, um, I don't know. For those of you that want symmetry and all things... Now let's get you an even 120. There we go. I know, we have 18. That's terrible. But at least it's an even number, right, guys? All right, so we're going to do that. We're going to get out of here, and we're going to head up toward the garrison. Run, sir! Ride like the wind! Then we're going to go install our gal pal here, Emeril, as the governor. And I'm not sure how to do do that. What is this? Insert a hero as governor of this town. That's exactly how you do it. All right, sweet. Let's do it. Bar. You are about to sign Emeril as the governor of Brightsgate. Confirm. All right, Lady Red Shield plus two leadership, five thousand experience. Very I, nice. Thomas Wolf, hereby declare you Emeril Red Shield, governor of Brightsgate. Why, thank you, my lord. I shall bear this title with honor. My lord. Perhaps you could simply call me Sir Thomas, or Lord Thomas? It's more befitting, considering your new title. Sir Thomas, my lord. I will set orders to improve the soldiers' training, but I don't have to stay in town. If you disapprove of my administration, just send someone else to replace me. Someone who meets your standards. You're irreplaceable, my lady. I do have one favor to ask. Let's build a convent of Elran here. A healing sister would make herself useful in battle, and could perhaps even give you a few lessons in temperance. The convent will be built, but don't expect me to light the dawn candles. It's the hour I sharpen my blades. Alright, so a little back and forth there. I don't know, man. I think Thomas is hitting on Emeril. And apparently you don't have to keep your folks inside the place, which is kind of interesting. Additionally, we have to build a convent of Elrath, which we've already done, so we are ahead of the curve. Thomas was proving himself a worthy and competent lord, earning the respect of his soldiers and Imeril. Alas, the dragons were not done with him, and his fate had yet to be decided. Indeed. All right. The lands around Brightsgate have been pacified. My uncle should be pleased. Indeed. Now, you need to link Broken Spear Pass to Hammerfall through the plainland. Take my troops. 
I'll go back and guard Brightsgate. Already took your troops. <laughs> Thank you, oh, Lady sorry. Imeril. I will miss your company. Your troops? <clears throat> How can I get reinforcements from Brightsgate during my foray? I can send you troops with caravans as soon as you have an outpost. You should rebuild Flamewatch, the ruined fort past the river. All right, so we get to find out about caravans finally. Good right counsel. There. Plainwatch is my priority. Any other words of advice? There's a Seven Cities outpost. But there's never been any trouble with the wizards. They're mostly mindless beauties and a few old men. They're here for the Dragonblood crystals. Dragonblood crystals. All right. So, let's Take that over or ignore it or yes, something. Yeah, they're right beside the road my uncle wants to secure. They should at least be inspected. There we go. Let's say I go out and negotiate passage with the wizards. The last time you parlayed, you started a war with the griffin. I'll take care of that. Your gentle demeanor would soon start a war with the whole of Ashan. I can be very gentle. Not that you'll ever know. Wolf speed, my lord. And be wary of wizards and silks and perfumes. Mm-hmm. Well, I think he doth have a crush a bit too much. Alright, so crush much, it's fine, guys. It's one of those rudimentary... Wow, what the heck? Is that a thing that's supposed to happen? Did we lose her? Are we not supposed to... Like... Huh. Maybe we were supposed to lose her. I guess that's... I guess that was the play. All right, so we did that. Whatevs. Um, I'm just gonna click on these little notifications on the side. We do that as well. We gotta go to Planes Watch, and we have these three. And apparently, Emeril has leveled up, and we can choose a new thing for her. All friendly heroes in the town's area of control get plus twenty leadership. <laughs> Don't need that. Um, let's see what else do we have. Do we have a governor thing for you? Nah. Neighboring friendly creatures get plus one defense. Nah. Nope. Nope, and aha, all friendly heroes in this town's area of control gain 20% experience. Also not useful. So as much as I'd like to do something with her, I don't know that I'm going to. I'm going to leave her skillless right now. Well, maybe I shouldn't. Alright, well, we'll consider that she's going to be something that we're going, somebody that we're going to want to use eventually, so we're going to get outnumbering. I don't mind going down to the leadership tree again. You guys uh, have to you have to admit, it kind of worked out pretty well for us thus far. And also, did we, oh, I thought maybe we got an extra skill point. Okay, that's done. Can we get rid of this? No. We, we did it. It's, it's happened. Yay. Okay, whatever. We've already done that. Uh, well, whatever. It's going to stay for right now. It's fine. We can't move again, which is okay. Brightskate's already done. Whatever. Brightskate's done. I'm going to come over here and... There we go. I'm going to tag this up and it looks like we can... Can we do anything? We can't move these guys out, but they automatically train units every day to defend the pass, which I also like a whole heck of a lot, by the way, folks. don't know if I mentioned that, but that's a really, really cool feature. And we just got ten Cavaliers. Which I am a pretty big fan of. I'm going to read the Imperial signpost. Brightgate, Jewel of the Sea, property of the Holy Falcon Empire. Alright, we're going to go over here. And I guess we're going to go and fight the Trivial Army. By the way, for those of you who are wondering, um, the storyline is a little bit weird when it comes to the Might and Magic Hero series or the Heroes of Might and Magic series. One, two, three all were in line and then heroes chronicles tied in with three once that was done you jumped into heroes four then when you went to heroes five that wasn't actually next chronologically so after heroes four you jumped over to heroes six and now seven follows six and then five is supposed to have taken place after um six and seven so that's kind of the storyline so far in case you guys were wondering just a little bit more information that maybe you did or did not know. We're going to attack, of course, because we are greedy and eager to kill. That's how we roll, folks. That's how we roll. All right, it's weird, but with the air conditioner on and the window open, it's actually almost cool right now, which is very strange, because normally you wouldn't have the window open with the air conditioner on. But with just the air conditioner on, it doesn't cool quite enough. Or with just the window open, it doesn't cool quite enough. 
But with both, we get a little bit of cross breeze, some cold air coming in, some cold air already being pumped in from the air conditioner. It's quite nice. It's quite lovely. All right. Enough of that. We are going to go hide. We're not hiding. We're just going to man up and stay where we're at. Let's do it. All right. Some uh, Masaru or something along those lines. L Lamasu. That's what they are. I knew there was some Su and Sar and whatever. It's fine. All right. We are going to wait. We're going to wait again. And wait some more and uh, some more. Wow. The undead don't seem to move very quickly. The Necropolis folks are a bit slow on the uptake. Alright, let's do some damage there. We're going to wait again with him. Probably be able to annihilate her straight up. With a little bit of luck here. Yep. There it is. And, I don't know. Let's just do a, like some nasty burst damage on you. Oh, we get to do it again. Very nice. Alright, we can just flat annihilate you straight up. Get wrecked. Coordinated butter attack. Wait, what? I don't know. That's fine. All right. Well, we can send our guardians in. Again, 62 of them does seem to be pretty high. Uh, she's only got 46 health, but she has 23 armor. I mean, at best, we kill 37. We're going to get hit by 30, whatever. Probably do it. You know what? I'm going to roll the dice. I'm going to take the risk. There we go. And I think we survived it. We did. Oh man, that was that was close. We had 6 HP left after that. But, in the end, it didn't matter. We were victorious, we lost no one, and all of them perished. Alright, not that much experience, but eh, whatevs. That's fine. It's all XP, baby. It's all XP to me. Alright, some more defense getting thrown our way, and apparently another item that I kind of wish we didn't have to use. Oh, actually, it's okay. Alright, 500 gold per day, plus 2 defense. What else do we have? Why are we not using this? Alright. Oh, Spalders, plus 5 leadership or plus 2 defense. I don't know what the leadership. I want to see more and more and more stuff coming our way. Alright, that's cool. We'll roll out with that. Let's grab up some more ore, which is already making the area much, much easier for us. The area is dangerous, but not because of the wizards. Something else is lurking beneath. I am okay with that. What is that? That looks like that could be very problematic. Let's go get killed by it. Those are what? Gold dragons. Oh, dear lord. Okay, this could be really bad. We're going to start up the combat and see. I gotta say, I like the uh, Hom 3 dragons a lot. I can't recall the Hom 6 dragons, so I can't say whether I like them or not. I want to say that I probably did, but I don't know for sure. Alright, we're going to put you there. Move you there, move you back here. Something along these lines, I don't know. Something like that, maybe? Nobody should be able to get hit by two people at this point. Maybe even we can do this. Okay, well, we'll give it a shot and see what happens. I'm assuming they can move across the entire map and they're gonna move first. That's my guess. And they're gonna hit really hard. Oh gosh, they. Okay, I completely misjudged what it was that they can do. Holy crap! Okay, um. Surprise, I just learned something new. They're immune to light, okay. They have an aura of purity, the. Creature and neighboring friendly creatures cannot receive negative magic effects. Fine. Vulnerable to dark. I don't care. And the breath of light. The creature casts a ray of light at an enemy unit's critical hit. Creatures become incapacitated until the end of their turn. My god, they didn't crit. Oh my gosh. I don't know what the area of effect is on that skill, but that wrecked me bad. Yikes. Okay, well, we're going to wait out a little bit here. Holy, holy crap. You're immune to this, right? This is going to do, like, zero damage to you. 
Alright, this might kill one of you. Oh, well, with the high luck, it definitely did kill one of you. I hope that this doesn't draw... Okay, just a regular counterattack. Oh, thank god. Alright, we're gonna come around behind you and attack. Got a kill there. And we're gonna come over here and attack again. Oh, with high luck, we might actually kill this off before more horribleness comes our way. Oh my gosh, that was so incredibly awful. Did you guys see how many people died there? Dear Lord. We lost six. Six of our legionnaires. We lost 15 crossbowmen. We actually didn't lose any of our cavaliers. I'm surprised by that. We lost four guardians. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought. It still was way worse than I was anticipating, but it seemed a lot worse than it was. Oh my gosh. Okay, gold dragons, no joke. Yikes. Let's sell some gold here. Oh my gosh. Alright. I'll try to I'll try to get past it, guys, but man, that, that really destroyed my soul. That was that was super intense. Very, very unpleasant. Where was the broken down place I was supposed to fix up? You guys see that anywhere? Because I could have sworn it was highlighted on my map. They, like, showed it to me. Oh, is that it right there? That's it right there. Oh, look, the bridge is out. How wonderful for me. Alright, well, we're going to go up against these elementals on the next turn, I suppose. And meanwhile, we're going to go back to Bright's Gate. And I think the next turn we'll be able to get the building that we want. And is there anything that we can do that will give us a little bit more oomph? That's way too expensive. I don't think so. So we're going to end our turn. We'll get our building this turn. Oh my gosh. I'm still trembling from that dragon. That thing was awful. Like, dragons are rough anyway, but man, that thing just melted like half of our... Eh. Alright, over it. And bam. So that's going to be expensive. It's going to take us five days to recover all the money we just put into it, but from this point on, we're not going to have that giant 10k dump of uh, resources that we're going to have to utilize, so I'm okay with that. Provides the option to pay for information about your opponents. I don't care. Why would I do that? I guess maybe in a multiplayer match it would be good. Maybe in a multiplayer match. Sure, we'll go up against 3-3-3. Three, three, and three. Are these air elementals? Okay. So better than average chance that they're going to hit us with some chain lightning. And they're going to move pretty quick. So probably not super fun for us, but we might be able to manage okay. Trying to split our forces up so they're not caught. Let's move you there. There we go. Something along those lines. There we go. No one touching. I like it. Ooh, look at them. They are very ethereal looking. Huh. They did not do what I thought they were going to do. Now that I know, I will try to commit this to memory. They do not blast us with chain lightning like they did in the past. Alright, well, we're going to wait it out a bit here. Eh, it's always the first time you get into combat with things that you, you know, you just don't know what they're going to do. It makes it a little bit more challenging. It's okay, though. We will make it work. Alright, see if we can't kill them with the three. Oh, we did not, but we have another shot. Can we kill these guys? We did five damage. That's rough. That's super rough. It's all right. Got an easy kill there. Maybe with the high morale we'll be able to kill again. It looks like we will. The attack is real. And hopefully our guardian can do some work. Attack. Well, some work, but not nearly enough. That doesn't matter. She's going to get her revenge. Yeah. All right, so down they go. So, had I known, I would have backed them up a little bit more. I'm not sure if they can move the full field, but that was not the best move. Still, learning, learning. 2,300 experience, we'll take it. Looks like there's some more free gold on the... Well, I say free, we just had to fight for our lives for it. But that's okay. Alright, what is this? Ooh, another core dwelling thing. We'll take that. Murder you. Start combat. Let's do it, huh? Let's do it. Alright, I'm far less concerned this time around. These are a little bit more normal. Except that dude in the middle who's massive. What is he? 
He's a Cyclops. All right. Well, let's see. What do we do? Guess we'll just wait our turn for now. They have Knolls, which are their ranged units. And they will move before our Archerians, or our ranged units. And sadly, there's actually quite a few of them. 93 to be exact. Good, they're going to focus on the wolves. They're basically there to soak damage, so they're doing their job. I'm actually pretty happy with that. Alright, I'm going to kill off 25 of those guys. We're going to wait our turn. I'm leaning toward maybe trying to kill that, but I think that might be a trap. Let's just do damage to this guy. So if we get a secondary move, we'll, we'll throw it out on him. Now I could probably murder somebody here, but we're going to go for the long distance attack. And hopefully kill him, yeah, 30 or 40 guys, and we did so. Alright, if I back up here, I'll be outside his range of movement. If I back up there, I will also be outside. And I can throw a defend. We're back up here. We'll be outside. We'll defend. And I don't know if we can get out of his range with him. Nope. The wolf is still going to get attacked. It's a tad unfortunate, but meh. Whatevs. Like I said, the wolf is there to soak damage. Uh, actually, we can probably move. Nope, he's still going to be able to move on us. Alright, we're just going to defend. I guess I could charge him if I wanted to, but nah. We'll let the chips... The chips... The ships... No, it is the chips. We'll let the... Gosh, it's one of those days, guys. One of those days I woke up, I was super tired. I had a hard time getting to sleep last night. I woke up uh, a couple times in the morning when my wife was moving around, and then I just passed out for like five hours, and I woke up, I'm like, oh, it's so late. It's so late. And then I just had a struggle to get started today, so... I'm a, I'm a little bit uh, scatterbrained, probably slightly more so than usual, but it's okay. It all adds uh, a little bit of uh, comedy and a little comedic value, so we'll take it. Alright, the wolves are kind of holding strong, I guess. Full flanking and just flanking. Why is this full flanking? No, oh, whatever. I'll take it. Do we get the 30? We do. Very nice. All right, we're gonna try and bring down the Gigant. Doing a bit of damage there, 100, 160. And potentially the kill. It's looking good, 153, not enough. He's rocking on 96. We can do somewhere between zero and 191. Well, we did 183, very good. Very, very high end there, actually. Alright, we can defend, and he is kind of trapped at this point. We're going to move our, our doggy out of the way. We are going to hero attack you, good sir. I'm very, very eager to go and charge him, but I don't think we get to. It's unfortunate, but it is simply what it is. Alright, the dog is going to survive this, I think. We'll have one wolf left, which actually I don't think we will because of the reinforcements. So, our wolves are pretty much gone. Alright. I don't think we need any more help killing those guys off, so we'll take out him. Or almost take out him. Try to kill this guy. It is what it is. Alright. We're gonna go for a full flanky. Get wrecked. Brah. Incapacitated. Alright. And now we move on in with the rest of our troops. And unfortunately, reality dictates that we're going to have a little bit of a problem here. Just a small one. Alright, we can kill 18 of them off. Now we don't have any problems whatsoever. And there is the kill. And down you go. Alright, a little bit of a longer battle. It looks like the music is looped. That was a little longer and I haven't heard the music stop that time around, so... Looks like they already fixed one of the problems. Like I said, there's times where I think small oversights are there. And people just are like, oh my god, it's the worst thing ever! They get so upset over the dumbest, stupidest stuff. It's a little ridiculous. And, well, kind of silly, let's be real. 
All right, let's see if we can't gather up some more uh, troops. I suppose we could recruit all of these. Uh, I say all. I'm going to recruit all of you and all of you. We're going to leave the other guys behind. Mostly because they're stinky and we don't like them. No, that's not true, guys. That is not true. Also, shouldn't you be here and you be here? Isn't that how we had it all arranged before? I don't know. It seems like everything moved down the line when that one individual died. Alright, it looks like we can get a little bit better view of what's going on by coming over to this. Alright, we can come over and deal with the wizards right away. And then tag that up. And maybe that's the play? I don't know. I am not entirely certain. But apparently we did level up at some point, and we need to apply another skill. Alright. I think we're going to go with Snatch. I think that's going to be the one. Bam. Alright, we're going to get an additional movement point. Scouting range is increased by two. The hero can see the precise number of creatures and armies. Okay. And enemy hero boosts if they are in scouting range. Reduces the penalty for moving on rough terrain. That's going to be the one that we'll get. Alright, so yeah, we're going to go down Exploration. And we should be able to snag this now because we don't need movement points. Yay! It's a small, convenient little dealie. Alright, we're going to go there, and I guess we're going to try to do something with Brightsgate now. What's next for us at Brightsgate? We need more... pretty much everything. We'll get it, though. We'll get it soon. Let's move our hero around first, and then we'll see where we're going to go from there. Go here and steal some resources from right in front Thomas of your... was about oh, to mind. learn his first lessons in the art of diplomacy, meeting the then young wizard, Masvar of House Materia, the same Masvar, who would later become infamous for creating the first golem, as we know them today. Well, isn't that convenient? Greetings. I am Masvar of the Seven Cities, and this is Gloria, my assistant. Greetings, my lord. Wizard, my lady, I am Thomas of House Wolf, and I seek to secure the road from Broken Spear Pass to Hammerfall in the name of Her Majesty, Empress Kyla Falcon. That is quite all right, my lord, as long as you don't intend to capture the Crystal Caverns. Fine with me, as long as you don't interfere with our road and its business. Then you have our support. We are no danger to you, but the plains are full of them. You would be wise not to venture further. Something has awoken there. Really? I would unravel this mystery, but I shall not leave Broken Spear Pass undefended. I propose you a deal. We will reinforce your garrison at Broken Spear Pass if you are willing to solve it. Are you sure we have the means to uphold your promise, Master? Gloria, if this menace is not treated soon, it will escalate and be a danger to us all. Do not worry, Lady Gloria. I will see to this menace. Thank you, Wizard Masfar. The troops are appreciated. Sounded like that dude's voice changed right there, didn't it? When he started talking to his, uh, apprentice. Alright, don't capture the crystal caverns, but I can steal everything off the ground, right? Thievery at its finest. Eh? Eh? Let's go over here. We'll talk to the blind maiden, get ourselves some blind maid maidenitude. I don't... I don't think that's a thing, but if it was, I would totally be getting all over it. Alright. Well, there is a neutral army of death over there. There is Blood Forge over there. Some wood to be had right here. However, I think capturing this might be the best play we can make right now. Ooh, we get one Seraph. Yeah. Perfect. I can now order caravans to deliver troops from Brightscape to here. All right, sweet. And how do I do that? We're going to figure out this caravan thing next, guys. That is going to be the play. Oh, here we go. This is how we do that. Cool. Alright, well, I think I would like a few more reinforcements. Uh, we'll recruit all ten of you and see how that plays out. Well, let me rephrase that. We'll recruit five of you and see how that plays out. And I don't know how long it's going to take, but the caravan should be on its way. I'm looking forward to seeing how that all plays. Should be pretty fun. Alright, additionally, we were going to try to rank up this. We're five short on wood. Can we get the wood before we run out of movement? 
That is the question, and it looks like yes we can. Alright. So there we go. Our problem is now solved. And now I feel kind of silly because we didn't upgrade them before we sent them. But that's okay. That is okay. We're going to start building toward, I guess, this guy next. Um, What do we need for fortifications? Oh, man, we're going to need a lot of stone and wood and all sorts of things. Would have been nice to have been near the town to get that, but eh, we'll make it work. We will make it work. Oh, Arat's Infinite Mercy provides 5,000 gold per day and increases the growth in this town by 50%. After every combat, 10% of your losses are resurrected, but we need a hero with a tier of Asha in this town. Okay, so that's our, our ultimate end game item. Uh, if we can dig that up, if we knew where it was, we can bring that back and it'd be all like, Wah! it'd be really cool, but unfortunately that's probably not going to happen. So, meh. I say meh. Alright, we're not going to actually build anything, though. We simply don't have anything to build. So therein lies the problem, I suppose. Alright, I would kind of like to get that. Let's see if we can't grab some of this. Maybe a little bit more wood. Hammerfall is the land of bloodsmiths. They always owned the place, and they still do. Alright, let's do battle. Alright, we'll start combat, and we have our Seraph. This is our champion creature. Our super powerful creature, if you will. And we're going to have to hope for the very, very, very best. In this, I think we'll be okay. Alright, are all of our forces actually deployed? It looks like they actually are. And the front line is getting a little bit crowded right now, I'm not going to lie. Alright, we're going to go somewhere like that. Hopefully these guys don't fire fireballs at us. If they do, we're going to be a little bit sad. Oh dear. It looks like single target fireballs. I'm okay with that. Our wolves are down. It's not great, but it is what it is. What are their next... What the heck was that? Oh! Okay. That was pretty impressive. I'm not gonna lie. Also very annoying. Alright, our Seraph. Oh, we have two of them. They can actually move. Not because of reinforcements. Never mind. Alright, these things do not look like they care so much about us being alive. So we will lead by example. We will attack with everything we've got. We'll bring some of those down. We'll go here and try to kill off three. We got two, and we can follow it up with another one. Oh, another two. I thought another one. But, all right, I'll take it. We can maneuver a little bit closer. All right, we're going to go for the double kill here. All right, we're actually going to take a look and see what this actually does. All right, we have the Seraph. Let's see here. Aura of Purity. The creature and neighboring friendly creatures cannot receive negative magic effects. Shielded. I think that's because we're next to him. Or a purity. Yeah, we already know that. Coordinated effort. We know that as well. Alright, so these are all things that are just affecting our hero that we don't naturally have. Alright. That's cool. That's cool. I'm going to roll out over here. Come forward. And unfortunately, we're going to get hit again. So we call down on her. Yeah. They really don't like our guardians for some reason. Wow, at all, apparently. I guess they are guardians. Probably not super impressed with how all that went down. Alright, going to attack. And kill, and then I think it's our Seraph's turn. It's our... our I guess it's our Cavaliers, they're not the upgraded ones. They're not the Karasiers. Alright. Well, that was a bit painful. Okay, we took that on over. We will grab the dragon steel and we will grab the bloodsmith. There used to be a town here. The bloodsmith master Ryan Redshield and his entire family were murdered and all was gone. Except his daughter. Except his daughter. That's right. We have. I always forget what her name is. What is her name? Emeril. Yeah, we have Emeril, the Redshield herself, still alive and kicking. As she should be. Alright, looks like we're going to be able to get into another fight. After this fight, guys, and we get done moving the last couple inches that we can move with our boy, we're going to break off the episode here, guys. 
A lot of stuff happened. We got beat down by dragons. We met with wizards. It's all sorts of crazy. Oh, also she's outside of her range of movement. That seemed odd. Or maybe it's his range of movement? I'm not sure. Alright, everything kind of got shuffled around a bit, too. Alright, what are we up against? Just a bunch of earth elementals. Eh, shouldn't be too bad. You know what? We're just gonna wait it out. Let them close with us. Bring it on, Earth guys. Is one of you part of Captain Planet? Eh? And he's just gonna... Oh! Okay, they all moved forward that time. Well, kudos to them. And hopefully you die. And you did. Excellent. The hope was there. The probability was pretty slim, though. Alright, the attack. I'm going to move out of the way here. I feel as though charging forward might not be the play. Maybe we defend there. Maybe we move here. Maybe we move here. Oh, wait. No, that's, that's within range. Darn it. Alright, well, we're going to have to attack then. I hope that this guy can't quite move that far. Oh, he can, but it doesn't matter because we get to move again. Gotta love the leadership skill, guys and gals, ladies and gentlemen. It is pretty fly. Pretty dope. Pretty sick. Pretty elite. I don't know. It's fine. Also, it looks like uh, the morale uh, was against him and he didn't get the move this time around. Which I am all for, by the way. Okay, and the kill. The kill. Alright, no losses, and a sweet, sweet, nice victory for us. Alright, more easy XP. Alright, let's grab up the wood, let's grab up the mine, and grab up the other wood. And then we'll come on over here, and the next little bit... I guess we'll clear out this little area here, and then... I don't know if we want to continue down, or if we want to come back this way. And just do random things in this area. That's probably what I'm going to go toward. And then maybe we'll... I don't know if we can fix the bridge or what. Ooh, reveals what the next week will bring. That's kind of interesting. Alright, folks. Let's uh, let's see if there's anything we can build in town that's going to be worthy. It's not really looking like it. Without returning to town, building some of the upgraded ones without losing all of the current ones seems a little silly. I think we're going to focus on building some fortifications up. Maybe... Or maybe just getting him online. He's one away. I think I'm going to build the resource silo. I think that's going to be the play. And maybe we'll get lucky next turn around and we'll get a extra piece of star silver. Anyway, guys and gals, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for this episode. I'll be back in just a little bit with the next installment of Might and Magic Hero 7. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.